we were using now. I think uh, the one I I spoke to. Two eleven six. Uh, yeah, two thousand eleven uh, point six is which one. one do you, uh, which one does Rusty uh, speak about? Not sure if it's the same version. Mm. Uh, the one I uh, I was expecting Amarok as well because in two thousand and ten they were still using Amarok. Maybe they removed it because it was. I think they target loads of XP users and XP age computers. So maybe Amarok was a bit heavy on the CP on the uh, on the RAM. So maybe they moved to something lighter. Well, it's um, I mean, like I say, it, it, that's the great thing about Linux and open source software. That's my experience. Probably others are. There's probably a thousand and one champions of uh, of clemency who are now going to send me abusive, uh, you know, going to send me critical emails, and I don't know what I'm talking about, which is the uh, abusive of open source software. Yeah, so. You're going to make me download the latest uh, PC <laughs> Lin ISO now and see if they've changed that with. Uh, because I, I it, the problem is it's a rolling distro, so I keep upgrading. I don't install it that often. Just, <laughs> uh, just, just one other uh, slight point at the end. It just shows what um, creatures of habit we are, or certainly I am. Um, whilst obviously I'm running a KDE desktop, I uh, still go use my transmission as my uh, BitTorrent client. Uh, I cannot get my head around where I want to use uh, Deluge. Um, so it, it's quite it's quite bizarre. I've got a bit of a mishmash on my on my desktop of uh, Gnome KDE apps, um, but I just couldn't bear if I was going to use a bit to plant to see anything else but transmission. It's um, they're small, so we're, we're very much uh, creatures of, of habit and uh, what's familiar to us is the most common. Q curves work in a good way. So if you're using the K, uh, GDK based applications, you know, at least in the later KDE version, we're talking about. 4.3 onwards in KDE mm. should look reasonably good. Oh, it does. It, I mean, it, 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 like I should have mentioned that when I said about the integration on the desktop of the widgets. So all my packages integrate very well and look right on the desktop. Um, I can't remember for the life of me the theme I have for my Windows decorations now. Um, uh, maybe was it Ice? Maybe or something like that. I can't remember because I just flicked around to so, so I saw one that I like the look of and then selected that. But it's um, it, 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 it really looks nice and there's no there's nothing that I've booed that looks odd. The only thing you could probably say that looks odd is the Winamp skin of um, Audacious, but that's my personal choice and I like that one. So, um, no, very happy, very pleased. I recommend PC Linux OS to everybody. And um, please, if you do download it or get it off the cover of the magazine, which I believe I got it off the front cover of Linux format um, in the last month or so, um, please try Clementine and see if I'm right or wrong. Um, I'd love to know if anybody else gets this experience. And, uh, I think we're going to move. If you on. get that experience, go into Synaptic and download Amarok. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we move on to the, the next track that Roy's going to introduce, I, I just want to say we've got another set of topics after the music uh, break that Roy's introducing, and I am going to be disappearing from the microphone for about five or ten minutes because I've been called to uh, perform some duties downstairs, and no doubt taking the rubbish out from the leaf collection on Monday. So I will leave Roy and, uh, and Rusty together. And I'm sure you've been well capable hands for about five or ten minutes, and I'll be back uh, very soon after that. So, Roy, over to you with the introduction for the next track. Right, so this is Everyone's Got Em, and it's by White Gold Sheeper. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alfred party right upstairs. Come back to a bar. Never once joined the Charleston and taking those hits to John. Panama tried up those spiral steps and friends to cut the rug. And me no real fun sugar babe and start to kiss it up. I think she looks like her with her hair and stuck in style. And you take her back down to your place and stop that messing around. And pop that real fun sugar babe ain't nothing but a gumdrop. Well hey there buster the joke's on you eat a sucking on a lollipop. Him. Everyone's got those white ghost shivers, white ghost shivers, everyone's got them now. Jizz, sperm, sperm, everyone's got those white ghost shivers, white ghost shivers, everyone's got them now. White ghost shivers, everyone's got them now. Tim's gone to uh, perhaps do some uh, duties downstairs. Um, he'll be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, for those who don't, those wondering how we do the show, we basically, whenever we take those breaks, uh, essentially we uh, leave a space in between the HDA and the songs later. So as you're listening to the show, it doesn't necessarily tell you the story of how the show was recorded. It's actually recorded in a smaller amount of time than... Uh, then what eventually comes out is the audio file. So if it's like an hour and a half, it might take us like one hour or 15 minutes to actually sit here and do the show. So anyway, the next topic I was going to cover, uh, hopefully with a very good KDE user, is the uh, announcement from KDE that it was going to, uh, to work a bit more with tablets. And this isn't, isn't exactly news, but it's being advertised once more. Um, they're trying to approach a market that's not necessarily a desktop, but also the growing uh, uh, form factors, uh, things like netbooks. It, initially, it was the netbooks, and I mentioned earlier the KDE netbook uh, uh, interface in KDE. So one of the things you can do is go into a mode of an interface or a kind of a menu system that's, that's adapted to very small screens. Uh, and now they intend to do something similar with tablets and touch screens and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's a. Did you uh, did you Rusty hear anything about it so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it makes sense, and, and honestly, it's one of those things like we were talking about before with the. It, it's entirely plasma based. It's a collection of things. So all they're really doing is trying to expand that people are aware. Oh, you can do it this way because um, that that's pretty much actually. Uh, a lot of that was borrowed when you looked at Google demonstrating Honeycomb at I.O. You know, they basically took that and put it into that. So KDE is like, well, you know, we do this stock if you know what you're doing. So they're trying to, you know, I make those. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think this is one of the reasons they, when you add a widget to KDE, everything's quite big and everything starts to be a bit more finger friendly in some sense because you uh if you've seen the demos from Aaron Aaron Sego well and, and the widgets are entirely scalable so I mean I could make them you know 300 percent or 500 percent times the size they would normally appear on a normal desktop so they're very finger friendly and they scale perfectly yeah and they just as uh, SVG since the 4.0 release which didn't exist quite in KD3 and I, I don't think enough people appreciate that but everything is very yeah. And very scalable, and it scales in a very nice way. Uh, the the thing that I found very interesting about moving into the field is uh, it used to be called a K desktop environment, and I, I remember in 2009, I believe, they were very adamant that you shouldn't call it the uh, K desktop environment, you just call it KDSC, which means software compilations, because they want to try and kind of change the perception of what KDE is. Uh, and then maybe perhaps market things that are plasma based and uh, uh, and and, and cube based to work on people's desktop quite well. I mean, I recently started to try on my Debian box. I tried the LXD and I try XFCE. And what I the first thing I just check is can I use my KDE uh, applications or my KDE uh, environment applications as nicely and as cleanly as I did on the KDE side with plasma. And, you 